guys, we're gonna do a time lapse of tearing Shay's engine down. So VE, non-intercooled, 12 valve. So this will also be an engine that's in the engine rebuilding course. I got my other camera filming right there for that. Where is it? Right there. My fancy camera, which I just got. But we are going to get this thing ripped apart. Um, and like I said, mostly in time lapse, but there'll be a couple little spots where I'll probably stop and talk uh, about certain things, taking stuff apart or whatever. But for the most part, we'll just get it ripped apart. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody is the fakest i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant i don't need shit that i think is amazing waiting for my day when i'm playing sold out shows for a thousand faces hey give me that crown get in my way and to be put down it ain't your place all this my town if i want that shit then i'll get it right now i'm losing it the noose if it's some loose shit a stupid myth you choose to live or choose to dip you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons in different versions. Each new update, that shit worsens. Just stopping from the time lapse here for a minute. Something I wanted to mention to you guys is make sure that when you're taking these things apart, I'll probably put a picture in there because I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this camera or not. You want to make sure that you get these lined back up where they were. If you want to skip timing, you can, but you need to know where your original reference was because not all these are going to be in the same spot. So. All I do is take an engraver and mark it. So we'll, we're gonna take the engraver and mark it so that we know that it's in the right spot when we're putting it back together. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare starring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crashing in my car. Wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar. Just on my avatar, this world is so bizarre. Empty out the reservoir. Yeah, I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know. Stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face and This is a really old gasket Or a really old one She was definitely running a bit dirty, especially on, yeah, pretty much all the cylinders actually.
for a minute. We're just going to take a look at everything as far as this goes. Uh, we got everything all apart here. Everything looks pretty good for what it is. The thrust bearing actually looks really good. There isn't any abnormal wear. Um, they do come apart in two pieces, or three pieces technically if they're wore bad enough. But that's pretty common just from, from years of use, especially being a standard truck. But I'm very glad to see that it isn't all beat to heck. So that is nice. Uh, we still got to pull the tappets out, but they're super easy to pull out of there. All of the rod bearings are definitely at the end of their life. They're, you know, they're not hammered, but you, as you start to come through that coating, that's just telling you that she, she's had enough. So all the rest of the bearings look all look good for, especially for how many kilometers are on this thing. I actually never looked to see whether they're still coming the bearings. Let's see. They sure are. They are still a Cummins bearing, so that means likely nobody's ever had this thing apart. So that has this thing all ripped apart. We got the crankshaft, everything all ripped down. Uh, obviously, got to get everything washed up. Uh, the only thing I got left now is to tear the head cylinder head. Off. All right, guys. I'm gonna strip some pistons. I'll probably put most of it in a time lapse, but I wanted to show um, just quickly. Lots of people want to know if they can reuse their pistons. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Ah, I shouldn't even say can't, shouldn't. And these pistons have a lot of miles on them for what they are. They're not terrible, but they definitely have some wear in them. Could they be reused? Yes, you could reuse them. Unless I find something really detrimentally wrong with them. But the thing that you want to look at is, especially visually, is... If you look at inside the bore there, how it's like a, gray, a light grayish color, and then you can see the shiny spot in there, well, that grayish colored area is worn. So these pistons won't be true anymore. And then if you look at the top here, you can actually see the piston, like where it's got scuff marks in it, and that's from heat. So myself personally, I don't think we're gonna reuse them. I gotta talk to Shay about it, obviously but I don't think we're gonna reuse them because by the time you buy rings, you don't have to spend that much more money to buy pistons. And I would rather his engine be just so, so that when we put it on the dyno and we're using it on the dyno for stuff, we're not hurting a piston because we didn't put new pistons in it. Not that you can't hurt a piston anyway, but I would rather it just be, I'd rather it be right. So. All right, I'm gonna get after getting the rest of these done and then I'll come back to you guys uh, when we're get the cylinder head tearing apart. something I wanted to show you is that you want to just look when you're taking these cylinder heads apart and see how that spring is different than that spring so this one's a stock spring for a 12 valve and this one is a what they classify everybody calls a 60 pound spring so you just want to watch if this is on your you got half of these on your engine um, you can reuse these as long as they check good and then these personally I don't reuse um, but that's completely up to you what what it depends on what you're doing with the engine too so I personally upgrade everything to a 60 pound valve spring, 60 pound over valve spring, but it's completely up to you uh, what you're doing. Everything all off. And you guys actually don't feel terrible now. That being said, being that the head is still dirty, still oily, you want to be careful with that because sometimes that'll bite you. When you get a little bit of buildup inside there, you clean everything and then they'll be shaking hands with each other. Because there was one, yeah, see this one? That one has way more, way more clearance than it should have, especially being that it's oily. So does that one. Usually the intakes aren't going to be bad. Um, but the exhaust is definitely, we're rebuilding this head regardless. 
um, because we're into it and well, I own a machine shop. So we are going to uh, pull all this apart. And something that you do want to pay attention to is how worn the valves are and what the valve job looks like. To whether or not somebody's been into it before. Yeah, see this valve is worn pretty good. This is what it is. Hopefully you guys can see that. And, you know, like I said, it's, uh, hopefully the head isn't cracked, because then if it is, we'll have to get a different head for him. Um, but only way to tell that is by magnet fluxing, and we'll have to get it washed up first. So, all right, at this point, we got the engine completely stripped down. The only thing we have to do is pull one oil gallery plug back out of the block and get everything washed. Hey guys. Check out the merch store, cutteruprob.com, link in the description for all the new merch that I just dropped. Help out the channel.